So welcome to the State of the Market. This is gonna be a series in which we're gonna talk about the market in a no hype, basically data-driven fashion. So I'm Nathan Wineland, this is Brandon Barnes, and we're with the Wineland team. So uh, we're gonna talk about and start off with a recession. I have seen in the news, we are in a recession. We are coming into a recession. We are, there's, we can avoid a recession. Recession, recession, recession. What even is a recession? Yeah, a lot of talk about that right now. So the National Bureau of Economic Research defines a recession as a significant decline in economic activity spread across the economy, lasting more than a few months, normally visible in real GDP, real income, employment, industrial production, and wholesale retail sales. That, that sounds extremely official. Yeah, a lot of factors. That, that is a lot of that. factors, not just like one that's out there. Right, it's, it's almost the whole big picture of the economy. There's a couple other things that aren't in there, but that covers a good portion of economic dollars spent. And there's some leading factors that, that are indicators that really show whether we're in a recession or coming into a recession, some with a 40% chance, some with a 100% chance. One of those 100% chances is gonna be the unemployment rate and the inflation rate. So when inflation is above 5% and unemployment is below 4%, we have a 100% chance that we're leading into a recession. And that's currently where we're at right now as well. Yeah, we it's... Have yeah, it, you know, 8.6% inflation was the latest number that came out, and then we have unemployment under that 4%. Another factor that goes into this is the inversion rate that we're seeing on 10-year Treasury notes and two-year Treasury notes. I almost know what that means. So basically, uh, we're looking at that index, the Treasury index, and the Treasury index is saying, okay, your rate of return on a 10-year investment is going to be lower than your rate of return on a two-year investment. So did I say that backwards or is that correct? No, you said that correct. Oh, that's so weird. So you're making more money on two-year treasury notes than you would be on a 10-year treasury because, note. Because nobody wants to give you money in the long run at a higher interest rate knowing that it's uh, gonna be improving in the future. Right. Interesting, okay. Uh, something else that's interesting here uh, is currently for every $17 in credit, there's $1 of actual real money. So these interest rates are definitely going to start infecting how much businesses are investing as well. And that in turn could potentially relate to employment as well. Yeah, as the feds hike these rates, that's gonna get more expensive for uh, all those people that have $17 in credit. Right. Or all those $17 in credit. I and mean, there's a ton of cash in the system right now. We keep hearing about you know all the new cash that's gonna out. It's amazing that it's $17 of credit to every dollar. Yeah, that's yeah, insane. that's it's a, a pretty big amount right now for sure. So that absolutely is. But a recession does not equal a housing crisis. Are you sure? Uh, well, make sure and stay tuned for the next episode.